Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. I'm your host, Sam Sneed, and this is Tales from the Crypto Coins. Today, we're learning how to use Decentralized Exchange, one of my personal favorites, actually, Bancor Network. Um, it's really cool exchange. They have a plethora of coins. They've been listing a lot of the new hot coins, and they actually have a lot of the top tier coins. Um, they have the EOSs, the Trons, the Binance coins, so on and so forth. Um, we'll be using the, or in order to use the Bancor Network Exchange, you must have a MetaMask wallet. Um, and then you must also fund that MetaMask wallet, and you can use any exchange that sells Ether. Since this is a Ether ERC20 base um, protocol, you must only use Ether. If you use Bitcoin or any other uh, token, you will lose it. Um, again, this is an ERC20 token um, protocol base uh, platform. So first things first, in order to use the exchange, you must have a MetaMask wallet. So um, if you don't, please watch our video, how to create one. It's rather simple, um, roughly takes about five minutes. Um, and once you do that, you can come back and join us here. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to fund our uh, MetaMask wallet because the MetaMask wallet is simply a desktop wallet. It's right here. And all it does is acts as if a um, bodyguard and protects you when you walk into the uh, Bancor network, right? So let's fund our account. And we're going to do that. Now I'm using Coinbase and I'm going to fund it using the uh, QR method. So basically I'm going to buy some Ether in this case, I'm going to send some ETH. I already have some in my wallet. And then again, QR code. We're going to come up and scan it. Make sure it's good to go. Confirm. Okay, we confirm that it's good to go. We're back here on the uh, Bancor site. Now, I want to show you something just in case. You guys were wondering, how did I get to the QR code? So when you open your MetaMask wallet, if you hit these three dots here, it drops down these four menu options, and you can just click that. And that's how I got there. So you, that's how you're able to scan. So I'm going to go back. So I'm going to check the balance hit. And now we're ready to go into the store and buy some coins. So let's take a look. Now, as I said, Bancor, one of my favorites, really easy to use really user friendly and it's um that's one of the things that i like about it because the newbies they need to be able to walk in and use it and not be intimidated and bancor does a good job of making it it very easy so it's pretty self-explanatory if you take a look um it has the coins and it has the emblem their name the official name as well as the trading ticker the 24-hour change um, percentage change um the usd price of the coin um, and my personal favorite the 24-hour volume so these are all helpful tools use them for whatever you need um and then you can just scroll down they have a ton of tokens i won't go into all of them today i'm actually going to purchase some bab um i usually don't purchase tokens this high but this token was just uh, listed on the exchange so this is some of the uh, excitement and um i'm going to take a stab at it um a risk losing a, a chance of missing out right um so what you want to do is you want to come over you want to hit the buy button so if you take a look this screen populates and your balance pops right here um and you can confirm that just by clicking on the metamask and if you take a look here the balance is the same so that's how you know you're good to go um and then you can click this button here right so what that does it, it basically allows you to purchase all of um the available tokens that your ether can purchase so you want to hit the next button now i did this on purpose um metamask is aware of this problem they're working on it but i did this to show you um that they don't cover the gas that's needed and you have to kind of um, keep that in mind so you have to scale this down a little bit um in order to cover to have enough ether to cover the gas to complete the transaction so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go 16 um, let's go 16.5. Let's see if that works. Not enough. See? So you have to play with it. Um, and I don't like that, but hey, what can you do? Let's go 250. Let's see if that works. Not enough. So there you go. I'm going to go 1600 and that should work. 
right? Okay, exactly. So there we are. You have it, it and it basically gives you a summary of what you're doing, how much you're paying per um, per token, things like that. So you want to you want to take a look at this page, and it also tells you how much gas I'm paying, right? So you want to proceed. Now, when you do this, um, the MetaMask wallet is now going to ask, "Hey, are are you okay with this transaction? Do you want to pay two dollars and twelve cents for the gas fee? Um, and your total is going to be forty six ninety. Do you want to go ahead with this? If so, you want to hit submit. If not, you can reject it, and the transaction is canceled immediately. I'm going to hit submit, and now transactions in progress. Now in process. I'm sorry. Um, if you want to view this um, transaction, you can by just clicking here. You want to give it a second because uh, it takes it takes about roughly uh, 20, 20 to 40 seconds for the transactions to hit the blockchain and then for it to be published. So I, let's hit it and let's see if it's been published. See, it hasn't. So let's X out of here. But if you come back or you wait, let's wait a minute or so. And we come back and we'll hit it again and you'll see it. It'll be ready to go. All right, so let's give it, it's been about a minute. I'm going to click it again and let's see. Okay, so there you have it. Our transaction has hit the blockchain and is currently pending. Um, it's going to take a few confirmations, but once we have that, the coins should populate right here in your MetaMask. So, which brings us to the next step. Um, in order to view your tokens in the MetaMask wallet, you have to add them to the wallet. So I've only had two tokens. I need to add this wallet. I'm sorry, I need to add the token. So you want to come here to the Etherscan where the transaction is, and you just want to type in the token that you're purchasing. So that's BAB, and that pops up. So what this does is it provides the contract number, which is what you want to record. And you want to place this information in the add token section. So MetaMask does a good job that once you enter in the contract number, the rest of the information populates. You can add that. And now the wallet recognizes um, the token. So once the uh, transaction, and if we go here, we can go back. Once the transaction is a success, now it works. So everything looks good. So let's check our wallet. Our wallet should display the tokens now. Not yet. Let's give it a second. It usually takes some time to talk to the wallet. Um, but once, oh, it's only one block of confirmation. So it, you actually, you need a few confirmations before um, something along the lines of like uh, 10 to 12, I believe. Um, and I can confirm that for you. But you need a few more confirmations before it shows up in your MetaMask wallet. Um, so we'll hang tight for a little bit and we'll show you once it confirms. All right. So let's check it again. And let's see. We should be good to go. All right. 116 block com confirmations. If we hit this here. All right. It's not populating. I think let's check it in our account. So you can you can view your account on Etherscan. OK, so it did hit our account and it's right here. So for some reason, it's not populating in our uh, MetaMask. They maybe need to do something, fix the coin, but it, it is in our wallet. And you can confirm that simply by just checking your account on the Etherscan. And so it is. It is there. All right. So we are good to go. And there you have it. You've just purchased BACS from the Bancord network. It is actually called the BAB coin, but the token is called BACS. And there you have it. So. Please head over to uh, Bancor, get some coins. They're look, they're doing well. Bab's doing well. Pundi has been doing well all week. Um, this is the coin I also mentioned. Um, XDCE. It's a great time to buy it. It's down. Um, this coin was just at a penny. So take your chances. Good luck.